I do not know my husband has any cook, so I'm surprised, but not complaining. Hey guys, so it's the weekend. Today's Saturday and I just spent about 10 minutes putting my wig on today at work at 12 of which I'm pretty grateful for because yesterday I really felt so tired sometimes you just begin to feel I don't know if you work in retail and you can relate sometimes you begin to feel like um there's just something sticking you in the soles of your feet and it's a very unsettling feeling but that is because you know you're standing for extended periods and where I work they wouldn't be like um yeah you can take a 10 minute break to just sit that would really help but I guess because they're paying you they expect that they are supposed to treat you like your slaves so um yeah it's annoying but whatever why complain about the things that you can't change so I'm just rolling with the punches. I just had some cereal and it was so good. Cereal is always so good, I feel like. But um, I made sure that I ate it late where I, um, where it would keep me until like three o'clock, to be honest. Because I like taking lunch anytime after two, but when I go in on this 12 o'clock shift, I'm not going to be hungry at 2 o'clock. So, at least 3 o'clock, just so we take lunch before it gets, like, busy and stuff like that. Whew. So, yeah. <clears throat> Tried calling my daughter this morning and did not get through, so I don't know what is going on. Anyways, I'm just here, chilling until I have to go. It's 10.26 and I work at 12, so I still have about an hour before I have to leave home. Well, I've been home for a while. And I decided to take my nails off and kind of rubbing them down at the moment. So I was coming home and there's literally like a Burger King right out the block. And I was just like, wow. I also put my hair up. I don't know if I'm going to keep it on tonight or if I'm going to take it off. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it on. But I don't know. I'm feeling kind of lazy. And in the mornings, it's a little bit of a process, you know? Anyways, the Burger King out the block. So I was coming home and I'm like, wow, I could really eat a burger. So I stopped out there and I got me a burger. I couldn't decide between a burger and some chicken nuggets. So I got a burger and 10 pieces of chicken nuggets. But the burger was tiny. So... I was able to eat both of them and I got a Sprite. A Sprite is like my guilty pleasure in like food items. I really love a Sprite or in like drinks. What am I saying? I really love a Sprite here and there. I don't drink it every day, but whenever I feel for a soda, chances are it's always gonna be a Sprite. Work tomorrow. As usual, I feel like the most I do is work pretty much all the time now but um yeah I'm home alone tonight because my husband went to a party or not a party a birthday dinner so I'm just here casually chilling you know doing the things that I want to do indulging in some self-care and I feel like I've, I've said before that self-care for me is taking care of my nails and stuff like that. I feel like I want to go get somebody to do my nails because I want it to be done a, a specific way in French tips and I can't do it myself. So there is a little nail bar um, out the block. It's them Chinese people. So I'm going to test it out, see how I like it. I feel like I'm going to take my acrylic powder with me for them to use because I really like the powder that I have right now. So I feel like I'm going to take it with me for them to use so that when it's time to refill my nails, I can do that on my own. So um, there is that. But again, I have to see. I don't know what time they close. Maybe I should Google it so that I can see if tomorrow after I leave. Because tomorrow the store closes at 6 o'clock. So maybe tomorrow after work, I could go and get it done. Not really sure. I also don't know how much it would cost at this point in life to do nails because 
I haven't been in a while. So, yeah. But I'm really, really excited. I, especially because I haven't gotten, I haven't gone to like get my nails done in a hot little minute. So, this will be nice. It's literally like maybe seven minutes to walk because it's close by. But there's a new spot that opened up. It's not even showing up on the map. So I don't know. Oh yeah, it is now. No, too far. T Definitely this one. It is so cute. So, I want to go, and they have some really good reviews too, and some pictures. I didn't realize that they have pictures until now, but inside of there is really nice and clean too, and I really like that. Like, wherever I'm going to go, needs to be clean. My only problem is I hope they could get my shape right, but I'm going to be doing a French tip. So, even if they don't get the shape right, I could um, reshape it myself, because I'm very particular about the shape of my nails. And just put some top coat over it. Because you know it's French chips. No polish. No. Let me show you guys what I want to get to. Hopefully they can do it. And not even just do it. Do it nicely. Something like that. I love that. That is so cute. So that's what I have in mind. I'm going to also find pictures of other French chips to see um, how that kind of works out and to see if I have a better idea of how I want to get it down done yes yeah, so I feel like it might be a little bit full so I want to go in like the morning so I can get in and get out so I don't have to use my whole day off to do it or I'll go in like the midday or afternoon um hours I don't really know because I've never and also with google you know when you google things it will tell you like their busiest times and stuff so maybe I'll check it out and see what it's looking like and then figure out like what time I'm gonna go but it's something that I really want to do because I just took my nails off and I can do so many things for myself but French tips I've tried before and it didn't really come out the way how I wanted so that's how I came to the conclusion that I'm gonna go and get it done I was also gonna buy a French tip um cutter like the little smile line cutter on Amazon but then I'm just like all right, I could just go get it done in the French tips once and then refill them myself after that. Or ever so often, I could actually go and get it professionally done. And maybe I'll get a pedicure too, I don't know. But I guess I'll just see. Since the time is cold, I don't know because I'm going to have to walk home and stuff. Or maybe I'll have to just sit there for a while. But my toes could use some love. But um, yeah, clearly, I don't really have much going on except for filing my nails down so um yeah I just wanted to vlog a little bit because I'm just here hi guys it's Sunday night and I just got home and I'm kind of excited because it's Sunday night which means I'm off tomorrow tomorrow oh he got the kitchen window open tomorrow I planned that I'm gonna go do my nails Somewhere I'm gonna pay somebody to do it. So right now I want to sit down and see if I can do some research and actually find somewhere where I can get No, do some research and find the type Or the style that I want to do on my nails. I just came home and the oven is cleaning which is good Love acts of service the oven you see it says cleaning and there is something baked on here I don't know what it is because I do not know my husband as any cook, so I'm surprised, but not complaining. Also, I bought a banana bread tray on Instagram this morning, <laughs> on Amazon this morning, and I also bought a wine rack, so I can finally put those bottles on there. And I think I bought two other items. They should come tomorrow while I'm here, which I'm really excited for, bec because. I've been needing these packages to come when I'm home. Okay. So a wine rack and a runner for the table. One that looks, I don't know. And I also bought a mixer, an electric one. Because honestly, when I'm trying to make these banana breads and I'm whipping the mixer with my hand, it's just so 
so hard honestly so hard anyways i'm gonna relax in the couch and watch a few videos and stuff hey guys so i'm editing the vlog and i realized that i kind of just left it nowhere like i didn't end it so this is me popping in to end the vlog thank you guys for watching as usual i really hope you guys enjoyed the content and the consistency and i will see you guys in the next video make sure to like comment and subscribe because all of that is free and i'll see you guys in the next video